Hello, adventuresses. Today is a fun topic of riding on the beach. I guess that's on like every equestrian's bucket list. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how you can go beach riding and then some of the best countries in the world where you can actually do this. So yeah, thank you, Heather and Uta for joining me today. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Uta. How are, uh, how are you guys doing? It's, we've gone through the heat wave of Western Canada. Now it's cold today. So I'm hoping that maybe we get some rain. Um, but yeah, Beach riding, like if that's not the ultimate bucket list thing to do, whether you're bareback on a beautiful Andalusian or if you're just, you know, going in your own backyard where there's a lake and you can get on the beach. So I'm super excited to talk about this topic. Yeah, and a lot yeah, of people, definitely. They, they want to either ride with their own horses on the beach or go on a tour and ride other people's horses on the beach. And I will say, if you take your own horses... It's always fun the first time your horse sees the waves for the first time. <laughs> so we had that happen when we went to Ireland, actually. My my two mares were from England and like from the middle of England. They'd only seen peak <laughs> fields. So when they saw the waves, it was so funny because they went into the water. And while they were in the water, they saw the water moving and they're like, wow. <laughs> I, there, there's a picture that circulates on the internet every once in a while it's uh, of a horse in the water and you know the water all around them and they're completely all four legs are out of the water they're like I saw a shark kind of yeah. so, yeah. what about you Uta? is there lots of uh, um, do you have lots of water sources when you're in India for, for beach riding uh, well, not not uh, ocean. We are about 1,000 kilometers away from the sea, but uh, we have lakes. We have a lake on our farm. So when we have a lot of water, we the horses actually use it as a private pool. So oh, nice. for them, it's easy. You know, we can swim with the horses in our lake if you want to. So some of our guests, they were like, oh, we love to swim with the horses. So I said, like, just go ahead, grab a horse and uh, jump in the lake. And uh, the horses are pretty cool about it because they know it. So not all of them love to be in the water, like, totally like really swimming but um some of them are pretty good with it and they can just take a swim with the with the rider and it's always a great experience yeah i am um, i have a, a great story from ireland being on you know the horses were used to this area the beaches there was no people on it so we could gallop up and down so many times but there was there was just something about, you know, going into the water, you know, probably the horses were belly deep. I think our boots got a little bit wet, but just as they kind of like they weren't swimming, but they just as they walked through the water, it was almost that a feeling of floating or just, you know, where you're just kind of going along and the horses were used to it. And, and Christy, you made a good point. Horses that are used to going in versus your own the first time. It was kind of nice being on a horse that was totally used to it because you got to enjoy the full experience. There wasn't like, oh, are they going to be bad? What's going to happen? It was so nice just to go in and kind of felt like we were floating along and oh, and you know, the water splashing up and everyone's laughing. And it really you know, it's one of those soul cleansing things, I think. Everyone should do it. Yeah, definitely. And if you guys are joining us live, let us know if you've ridden on the beach already, like where some of your favorite destinations were, or if it's on your bucket list. And so let's go ahead and dive into some of the best destinations that you can beach ride. And in our catalog book, horse riding in every state and every country, I mean, we have a whole lot of beachy places in there. Uh, so we could basically break it down by continent <laughs> um, and, and there's lots of places. I know when I was living in the U.S., I rode horses on the beach in California, of course, because that's where I'm from, and in Oregon. And I do remember in Oregon, it was quite cold. I mean, the Pacific, Pacific coast is freezing. I think a lot of people see movies about like California and they think that we're all like sur surfer you know, but it's actually like freezing cold. <laughs> so you're not going to go in the water in, in the Pacific. Um, but definitely there are some pristine beaches available. So that's, that's one places. Uh, we have a comment as well. Um, Croatia, no Ooh. feeling like one. Um, yeah, so Croatia, Croatia. And someone else says number one on my bucket list, beach riding. Yes. Beach riding is definitely an experience. So, yeah. uh, Heather, what are some of your favorite places for beach riding? Well, I, I have lots. Um, <clears throat> however, so... Uh, my first like real like 
galloping experience on a beach was in Spain. Um, and the sand was nice and hard. So it, you, you got that thundering hoof, hoofs hitting the sand. And we went, we were probably at like, oh, 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So it was nice and early. Hardly any people were out there, just a, a you know, a few walking their dogs. And, you know, we were in the Mediterranean Sea on the one side, beautiful sand on the other. And you just let your horse go. And, and it was so, you know, they would get over a little bit and there'd be a little splash up and then they'd kind of move back. And it was just, there was, it was so amazing to, you know, you're, you're in full control of your horse, but yet, you know, at any given time, you know, if they jump sideways, you're hitting the water, <laughs> but it really was, it was, you know, amazing that that's I, I, amazing. Doesn't even give it, do it justice. Um, but, you know, just as the sun is rising, you know, you've got the Mediterranean Sea, um, nice warm weather. You know, you felt like you you could, uh, you know, just have your little shirt tank top on and away you go. So so that's probably one of my favorites. I have others, but uh, I'll let uh, let you ladies share some of your favorite places to be tried. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I've done beach riding in many, many different countries. Um, I did my first beach riding in Germany, obviously. And uh, the North Sea has the advantage or the disadvantage, I'm not quite sure how to put it, that it retreats because we have a quite a difference in tide. So the tide, the high tide is in. There's not a lot of beach, but the high tide is out. You have like kilometers wide of beach. And it's like this um, basically ocean floor. So it's great for riding because it's a really nice sand. It's hard for the, like hard enough for the horses to have a very good footing, yet soft enough for them to really enjoy long gallops really. So that's a perfect place to ride there. Uh, you have to be careful when the water comes back in that uh, doesn't cut you off from the, you know, from the shore because um, it doesn't come in like really regular, but it comes in in certain places first and then others later. So you have to be a bit careful. But if you're out there with a guide uh, who knows the area well, it's it's really fun. It's um, it's probably one of my favorite places to go riding, even though the water is cold, um, a nice, warm, sunny summer day. It's lovely. But um, yeah, during spring or even during like, I mean, at the moment it's summer here, but it's not really hot. It's really like 20 degrees uh, Celsius. So it's like, OK. But um, I mean, for riding, it's it's good if it's not that hot. So it's a great, great place to beach ride in Germany. So let's just um, share some of the, because we get a whole lot of stuff in our Facebook group. So I'll just share some of the countries that I think a lot of our members go specifically just to ride on the beach. I would say one of them is going to be Morocco. Another mm -hmm. is the Netherlands. The Netherlands has a lot of uh, big beaches. And in one of our books, I think it's uh, the first book, we had uh, Saddles and Sisterhood. One of the ladies shared a story about riding in France, um, in the Camar region, and also um, in Greece. She got to swim Ooh. with horses in Greece. And I've ridden in Greece as well. Greece is really beautiful. And yeah, so those are definitely some of the ones that are very um, popular, popular in our Facebook group. But if you guys have any other suggestions or destinations, like do let us know in the chat. Um, I've also, we also have, I think another member, she's in Norway and I've seen her posting pictures sometimes and uh, I'm definitely jealous of her pictures, but it's very mountainy and obviously cold, <laughs> but you can, you can see um, some of the beaches there. And it looks kind of nice. I think it's a little bit more stony though. I know in Greenland it was a bit more stony. So we we did have a small little beach gallop um, in our riding in Greenland documentary on our, our YouTube and on Amazon Prime. And it was just a small little beach. It wasn't like horribly big, but there were chunks of icebergs. Oh, wow. <laughs> peppering the beach. So we were like zigzagging around these icebergs and, you know, you're on these little Icelandic ponies. So that was a lot of fun. That was definitely like a unique thing. Like when do you get to ride with icebergs that you have to dodge? So yeah. <laughs> the, the one nice thing about beach riding um, is that, you know, a lot of places in, you know, your warmer clients, your Caribbean, your Mexico, uh, like you said, Greece, there's lots of places where you can just go for like an hour ride on the beach or swimming with the horses. You may not go galloping, you know, for, for the, for the less experience, you know, if you're on holidays with your family, um, there are lots of places that do, you know, you can go and rent a horse for an hour and go down the beach and, and sometimes you're bareback in your bathing suit, which I don't recommend, but 
you know, people do it. We see the videos and the pictures all the time. Um, <clears throat> but, but that is something that, you know, if, if riding on a beach is, is something that you're interested in and, and maybe, you know, you don't have the opportunity to go to Greece, but you and your family are down in Cancun, uh, you know, maybe there's a, an opportunity for you to take a, you know, an hour ride and, and go splash in the water. And cause those horses again, will be used to the water. Uh, they'll, the guides will take you to the, you know, the ideal swimming location, um, cause it is, that it is when a horse swims, um, just that, that floating when the, the bottom of the water of the, the lake or the ocean is no longer there and they just kind of glide along. It is so, you know, you kind of float up to the top. It really is a, it is a, an experience that everyone should try at least once. Definitely. Yeah. I can only second that riding on the beach is special. I mean, it's probably nothing you want to do like 10 days in a row, but it's definitely lovely because it's the place you can really gallop like full speed and you usually have a lot of space. So um, it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. There's, there's a lot of space to eventually uh, make the horse slow down so you can really, you know, let it go at top speed if you like to. And then, I mean, riding in the water and swimming with the horses is definitely something extremely special that's possibly like one of these once in a lifetime experiences every rider wants to experience eventually mm -hmm. and then i would the last three destinations which also are in um in our group mentioned quite often and also one of the stories i think it's in book two the girl is riding across new zealand and the story opens with her on the beach sinking in quicksand <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's very <laughs> thrilling um so maybe don't sink in quicksand but it was really interesting to read her story because I never thought of New Zealand as having quicksand. Um, so yeah, I don't want to spoil what happens in the story, but New Zealand apparently has a lot of really cool beaches. Maybe go with somebody who knows where not to ride. <laughs> um, and then also Australia has a lot of beaches. And then the third one, but this one I'm going to warn against because I've seen so many pictures and there are actually sharks <laughs> in Ooh. South Africa. And it was one of, um, I think we actually, I interviewed her for our podcast. Um, she did the race, the wild coast, uh, whatever it is, some kind of race thing. It's kind of like the Mongol Derby, but it's not. And they had to learn how to swim their horses across one of the bays. And that is apparently where the sharks swim into and oh, swim out of like every day. So they had to swim knowing that there's like little small sharks in there. And like, for me, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> um, that, that was a bit of an extreme situation. But yeah, there's definitely some sharks there. But on the plus side, there is a lot of really big beaches. And I saw her pictures. And obviously in our podcast episode, I mean, she didn't get attacked by a shark. She was fine. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's one of the places. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other destinations, or suggestions of places that you've ridden, then let us know in the chat. We love to answer uh, you guys, you know, even when the replay or when the live video is over, you know, we, we always respond to you guys. And if you reach out to us and let us know what future topics you would like to hear about, then we mm -hmm. are here for you. So yeah, thank you guys for, for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. We have a lot of, I see some comments from different people. Um, kind regards from Dalmatia. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah. yeah, and if, you, if you're interested in beach riding, one more recommendation, because tomorrow we are talking in our podcast into the Kestron Adventures podcast about Belgium as a destination. Mm. And that also includes wonderful beach riding. So um, yeah, do have a look and uh, download the latest podcast episode or listen to it uh, on our website, because that's definitely going to include beach riding. Yes, yeah. and, and post your beach riding pictures. We want to see everybody. Oh, we want to see the white sand, the black sand, uh, all of it. The Mediterranean Sea, the North Atlantic, North Sea, all of it. We want to see the pictures. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I, actually, now that you mentioned the black sand, I know in Bali in Indonesia they have a lot of volcanic sand on some of the beaches. Mm -hmm. I didn't ride the horse on the volcano beach. Uh, but there are a lot of horse riding places in Bali and I was riding in like the rice paddy fields and stuff. But yeah, the volcanic sand was definitely very interesting to see. It's yeah, totally black. <laughs> yeah. And hot. Don't you don't want to go on it if it's hot out because it will be hot, hot on your yeah. tootsie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. See you next week. Bye.